everybody it is saturday august 3rd how's it going it's 2019 um we have baseball games today as always super busy with <laughs> with a million things going on but uh want to talk about the baseball picks tampa bay minnesota philadelphia the dodgers cleveland washington uh this is the second game of the doubleheader today it actually did have the yankees in the first game but i didn't get this out in time because things have been super busy as always so uh, anything we really want to talk about, I kind of want to talk about yesterday how um, we had three games above bet score three yesterday. Dodgers, Houston, and Minnesota. The Dodgers had a triple-A pitcher making his first start in, uh, in the majors. So if you were worried about a triple-A pitcher, which you could have been, then you would have understand that these two other games were actually stronger picks. And also, both of these teams covered the run line. And in the case of Houston, they covered the adjusted run line. There were some interesting things that happened yesterday because uh, there were some, some awful lines for some teams. And in those games where there were these bad lines, they most of them covered except for the case of Texas where they only won by one. So even though this looks like a losing day, you would not have been playing the money line at minus 300 on Houston either. You're going to play the run line or adjusted run line, minus one and a half, minus two and a half, something. So this actually looks better than, than it's really showing. So for today, uh, do our orders matter? Um, Boston looks like a good bet at plus 130 in the second game of this double header. Probably going to split today, and that's kind of the way that goes. Um, as for... Why are these games, Tampa Bay, Minnesota, Philly, Dodgers, so heavily favored? And I think the answer is, well, let's look at the number one pick. Tampa Bay, Jalen Beats is 5-1. and one. He hardly ever loses. Um, the bullpen on the Tampa Bay is pretty solid. Eliezer Hernandez on Miami is not, uh, he only wins 8%. I mean, this is such a flip-flop. And it says six to three. This game's in Tampa Bay, not in Miami, so probably more runs. I think that Tampa Bay, the run line, or even the adjusted run line here, it says they will cover minus two and a half. That's a good bet. Philly over the White Sox. Why? Now I changed up the formulas a little bit. I wanted to mention this, so I altered the distributions a bit. I haven't run my full, in-depth, regressive look at the whole season yet. Um, that's going to happen at some point here. There. There are a lot of things that are coming down the pike, and uh, I'm extremely busy with all of it, and, and I'll get to everything eventually. But as for right now, I just worked and said, you know, we're later into the season, and historically, the pitcher win-loss percentage, which I adjusted early in the year as well to reflect the fact that we didn't have a lot of stats early in the year, the pitcher win-loss percentage didn't mean a lot in the beginning of the year. Now it means more. So I up the percentages a little bit and it's going to change our win algorithm percentages. It's going to change our rankings. And I think it's going to help for the better now based on what I've been looking at recently. So considering that you can see how Miami is like a 1% or a really weak pick at plus 185 and Tampa Bay probably wins this game. Tampa Bay money line is great for a parlay if you're going to run there with a, with a couple other teams. Um, you know, you have an interesting situation with Seattle again over Houston. Now, here you have Marco Gonzalez. Um, this is an interesting. Why is why are they only so Aaron Sanchez got traded, and I believe this is his first start for Houston. That's the other thing. The reason why it took me a little bit longer to get the file done today was because there have been a million trades, and I saw all the pitching changes and all of the roster changes. We have information in here. If you've seen any of the previous videos where I discuss fantasy and stuff like that, there are pockets where people have been changed in lineups. As a matter of fact, I actually still need to update, update this. For example, the guy who's batting seventh on Detroit, I don't have in the matrix right now. So there's been a lot of trades and a lot of people moved around, and that's why this is going to stay updated. So if there's any takeaway, it's Tampa Bay, it's Minnesota. We didn't look at the Minnesota KC matchup, but Minnesota did, I believe, cover cover like the cover the run line, I believe, in extra innings or something crazy. I don't know what happened, um, but it says they're supposed to win again today, and and probably taking the run line is not a bad idea against Danny Duffy and against a weaker bullpen. So that's been five minute video. Um, NFL and all these other things are coming down the pike. I will continue to work and get all this stuff done as uh, time frees up. So may all of our picks, every single one of them, today, let them all be winning.